<clears throat> Morning, Aries. How y'all doing? About that time. Another weekly health advice from Spirit. How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a great week. A wonderful weekend. It's been beautiful. Uh, yeah. Um, hope y'all rebuking everything and staying strong and getting your health in order and appreciating advice from the spirits and ancestors and guides who love us, protect us, help us, forgive us, guide us, and uh, working on your help. Okay, y'all, let's get started. <clears throat> And me and my family's doing fine as well. We trying. I uh, found out my grandson had another uh, slight seizure. We found out why. The doctors couldn't find out. Technology, y'all. Be careful with your kids with technology. I looked it up on Google, especially the toddlers. And then Apple announced it. Uh, has it also on their warning. So be careful with these iPads and it's too much uh, uh, <clears throat> devices, computers in the house, you know, especially going towards the evening time because that's when they usually had it, when everything was settled down and they say, the, um, you know, everything was stronger in the evening time with the computer. And by when he turned his on to watch it, it messed with his little brain. And, you know, you don't know what kids are hearing or whatever it may be. Um, that failure. Yeah. Why? Well, um, you know the uh the technology is going on, and it messes with their brains, and uh it could make them have seizures and all kind of other stuff. So just be careful, y'all, with that, and don't let them give your kids all that uh medication when they don't know what it is. Okay. I'm trying to tell my daughter that. She's Aries, his mom. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of computers. We all had devices in the house. And that was triggering his little brain. And made him go into a state. So it could, if it's other kind of, nothing the doctors can find, check out, you know, if you live by electric, we stay by electrical things also, big old electrical poles or whatever that is. And that technology, y'all. So, especially if y'all by that 5G. So be careful with your babies. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, uh, beautiful weekend. Uh, yeah. Let's see what the first card is. For you, Aries, it says, Hug a tree, cook for someone or yourself. So it's time to get grounded. And, uh, Hugging a tree probably the tree probably needed more than you. If you don't have anybody else to hug, hug a tree. It's healing, relaxing. The tree ain't gonna tell nobody your secret. Okay. Um, they are alive. Everything is alive, whether people believe it or not. So you know, take your time and walk outside barefooted. You know, if it's clean and stuff, on some grass, and enjoy Mother Nature. Sit and talk. And uh, enjoy the trees. Because think about it. Without them trees, what are we going to do? Live in a dorm like they want us to. And they can control us. You know? So, uh, yeah. And cook for someone or yourself. You never know what might need a meal. You know? Uh, if it could be your significant other. You could probably can cook for the kids a good, healthy meal. I'm sorry to say not a lot of soul food because there's not a lot of health in that. But something, you know, light and uh, full of fruits and vegetables, herbs, spices, you know, uh, Mother Nature, edibles. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the first card, Aries. I appreciate y'all coming back. Let's see what this second card is. Yeah, so yeah, that's very, watch your kids, watch the stuff in the house, never know what's triggering it, but all yourself could be triggering you off, you're wondering why you keep getting headaches, you know, or anything that could be going on in your body, you got technology, they already warned us already, we keep ignoring that stuff, because we keep, they putting us on the internet, on, 
you know, computers, but we have to get the internet. And we have to work online, you know. <clears throat> Still programming us. But I know the age of Aquarius that we in, it is technology, it is airways. But we're going to have to find some other kind of way to uh, 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 schedule it. You know what I'm saying? That night, unplug all the electrical devices, your computers, turn your phones off. You know, uh, I know that's going to be hard. But at least turn, you know, we always got more than one. They return some of them off. But yeah, and I was paying attention to the days that it happened with my grandson. I think the first day was uh, Mike, September 1st, Michael Keaton's birthday. It was some other people's birthday as well, but you know, when I played Batman back in the day. <clears throat> and the second time was Bernie Mac's birthday, October 5th. And the, the next, uh, the third episode was Tony Braxton's birthday, October 7th. I thought that was interesting. I always trying to find something to something out of something, y'all. Yeah. I don't know what all that means, but, you know, it was just interesting. I guess I'm going to take that one, y'all. Okay. Second one is vagina and penis. I think I had this before, Aries, but. Watch the incubus and succubus on that sexual stuff. And um, I'm trying to light, make sure I light this other incense, Aries, so it won't go out. Well, I have the protection between y'all and me. Get to y'all. But yeah, um, watch that. And uh, I know some, I remember I met an Aries guy. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying who I met. He had this lady, and I know she liked him, but he only picked her up when he gave her a little change when she would be able to uh, give him head, you know? I thought that was so degrading. But he liked it her uh, and wanted her, you know, he wanted her to have more drive, more this, more that. But you degrading her. You know, he said he don't like to go to bed with her. He just wanted her to do that. But you want her to be what you want to be as well. What kind of sense that make? I don't, I didn't understand that. You know, and then he want to put her down and stuff. So to me, if you doing that, you lower than her to me. Because you're not even respecting your body. He say he knows she mess around. This, this. So you letting somebody put their mouth. And a woman as well on you that you know mess around with other people you got other slime coming in you you got other spirits coming in you other people energy and if you're not cleaning yourself out spiritually as well as um you know uh physically uh you got all that stuff coming in you so eventually you're gonna be worse than that person that person might heal itself and you got all that shit in you you know but anyway that's my thoughts on that but uh, keep yourself clean, do some spiritual baths, herbs uh, for healing, steam herbs, uh, go over the steam, take all them spirits out from different partners, and, you know, I, I'm getting hot, y'all, hold on one second, I'll take this off, I'm my house cold in my car, but uh, I got some clothes on there, though, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, um, like I say, the herbs and, and it'll take out maybe sexual molestation or feeling with you when you were younger or, you know, um, then, you know, put that uh, apple cider vinegar and, and sea salt or Epsom salt and baking soda in your water and uh, clean yourself out. I mean, you know, with a towel, I don't condone dishing. And, uh, you know, keep yourself like that. And uh, if you're gay or, you know, what so-called gay, you know, my theory on that, um, you know, make sure you keep your behind. Or if you're not gay, people, you know, going to behind. You know, um, I had this uh, in my behind, but I don't allow that anymore. And uh, so, yeah, just um, 
you know, if you have, you wonder, wondering why you can't stop having sex if you're a sex addict upon looking at porn, you might, like I say, look up the incubus and sex, incubus and succubus. You can look it up online. They'll tell you all about them. They, they come into you and, and enjoy their sexual pleasures through you. You know, so yeah, just watch that. So that's the second card, Aries. That's all I can think about on that. And, uh, you know, there's all ancient ways, answers to ways of curing STDs. You can look that up on, online, natural ways. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm getting us prepared for my not being in the hospitals or doctors. And how, what did they do before they came and different herbs? And different Mother Nature plants that cure, you know, gonorrhea, different, different all kind of diseases, AIDS, all kind of stuff. Keeping your system clean, you know. So yeah. Let's see what the third and final card is, Aries. <clears throat> Let's see what they want to tell us. argument with my last little girl's father he listens to every man to tell him something about me I always have been knowing him for years so what that tell me he don't think highly of me at all you know what I'm saying they can just come to him and tell him that they want to bed with me but I'm with you you know he think I can't do nothing on my own. I've been here. I had three cars at one time. Worked three jobs. Did all it, and I, cause I got it right now. I have they telling him it has to be somebody helping me. Can you believe? Ugh, it's yeah. Work on your arms, wrists, fingers. Massage them. So yeah, yeah. I've been on the computer too much, or working out, or uh, whatever job you have that requires that. Take care of your arms and fingers and wrists. Massage and plenty of uh, videos on on uh, YouTube of that Google that y'all can find to help that out and uh, soak them and so arthritis coming soak it in cold water just relax you know the dollar store got hands things for the hands and fingers you can wear uh, Walgreens as well and uh, try to stop and relax we need to be on that computer maybe getting off every 30 minutes we grown every 30 minutes we're supposed to be relaxing. And uh, stop using the phone and then go back after the next 30 minutes, even on the computer, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes on, off, 20 minutes on. But we don't follow it. We just listen all the way through. I know I do. But I take a lot of spiritual baths, y'all. So take y'all a good old spiritual bath. You up in salt and water, herbs, different stuff. Uh, baking soda, alcohol, different stuff, y'all. That'll help out. So yeah, Aries, let's go over the things that they uh, want us to know. Stay strong, don't believe, don't fear anything, don't believe all this stuff they're telling us. Rebuke these storms, rebuke all this, <clears throat> excuse me, viruses, all this stuff. Start watching TV and being on your phone for a day. So yeah, you already know they're watching us. Why take the phone everywhere you go? Just be careful, y'all. Honor your ancestors, find out who they are by your blood type, and then you'll know your bloodline. And what you're supposed to be doing. Protect yourself from lower entities. The ones that call yourself in control. The ones in your household. Family, friends, neighbors. All yourself. Be careful. Change. Okay, y'all. First card was um, hug a tree. Cook for someone. Or yourself. Maybe you need to just chill out and cook for you for a minute. You know. Uh, second card was vagina and penis. So whatever that means to y'all. And the third and final card is work on your arms, legs, fingers. Arms, wrists, fingers. They legs, so maybe some legs too. Arms, wrists, fingers, massage them. Maybe we'll get a massage, y'all. So yeah, Aries, I appreciate y'all coming back again this week. It's your girl, Root. And until next week, y'all take care and keep on rebuking and 
Staying strong and taking care of your health. All right, bye, y'all.